testing some cool looking stuff here. Hey guys, my name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill, and uh, I gotta say, this this one here is gonna like my favorite episode, my, my favorite stuff episode. It's all my favorite things, from gadgets to gadgets and cameras and sliders and grills and food and kebabs and holy cow. So let's start. Oh, accessories. Holy cow, have I got some cool accessories to show you in this one too. But listen, first thing first, I got a couple of beautiful pieces of heat in here that I've been, uh, I'm going to do it like a reverse sear on a steak. I love doing it this way. You get all the best flavors, man, from everywhere. So uh, we're going to start with our uh, Rectech smoker here. Now have a look. Here's one of the things I love about this. See that? I want it to be 375. It's 375. That's it. It goes up or down five degrees. Not very often, but that's what it is. So I'm going to turn that off just like that. You guys look great, don't you? So now, reverse sear means that you cook it most of the way there, and then you put some nice grill lines on it somewhere. So we're going to do it over on our beast there. All right, so we got to get this ready, okay? So to get my steaks ready, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of oil, just like that. That's it. Oh, look, we got some nice lines from the smoker. That's pretty cool. There we go. Not like we're about to get, though. There we go. I told you, it's my favorite stuff episode. I love this stuff. It saves me making garlic butter. Give it a little spray, give it a little spray, and then let's go ahead and hit it with some more salt, pepper, garlic, because garlic. There we go. I love it. Mm -hmm. This is a safe way to do a thick steak. Plain and simple, man. A safe way to do a thick steak. Um, if you want to chance it, if you got that sort of skill set, that you're going to be uh, awesome with your temperatures and, and, and all your temperature controls and, and keeping an eye on things, and you're going to get that super crust, but get it to that 135 or 140 degrees, and you want it on the inside for that perfect steak, all power to you, man. I ain't running it that way. So here, let's run around here. Now, uh, these kind of grills, these are fun, but listen, this is not your uh, everything's even type of grill. There's hot spots, man. And Trish and I are both going to get blinded back here. <laughs> I, I, I know it's going to happen. So I'm going to find a couple of really nice hot spots on that grill. There we go. See if we can get some nice bar marks in there. Let me set you right there. All right, so what are we doing here? Let's lower this down a bit. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. I've been enjoying, enjoying playing with this stuff. Now, uh, we also love our Maverick thermometers around here. Hello, that's good stuff. So we do want to check and make sure that this meat is going to do our, so we're right about that 110, 111 degrees. Come on back here while this is doing its thing. And let me show you what we're, uh, what we're up to, all right? We're going to go ahead. Now this is clean, but I want that to catch the juice. So let me spin that over. Uh, one of the accessories I wanted to show you today is this a really cool set of kebab rods from uh, uh, Grillville, this incredible company that we work with. Uh, their stuff is just, I mean, it's it's superstar status stuff. This, this is out of this world. So, so many of these accessories that we get, right, are meant to be like, uh, you know, switched out season after season after season. How about accessories that you don't have to worry about year after year? Now listen, I am gonna worry about my steak though. Okay, this, this is another one of those Kennedy nightmares. <laughs> have a look here. Oh, <laughs> that's some pretty stuff right there. Let me double check my temp. How are we looking? We're looking for that magic kind of 135, 140. Oh, we're getting there. All right, we got some time to hit some times here. Uh, and one of the cool things about uh, uh, these kebabs, if you're a kebab fan, we're going to do some fruit ones here. Uh, first of all, it's got a neat pusher, so you don't have to sit there with the fork and think, 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 and then the last one, <laughs> well, it's all wrecked. And there's two times which is cool because now you haven't got the, what was it? The, 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 oh. Twirling. The twirling tomatoes, the <laughs> whirling. Watermelon. Watermelons and all that. <laughs> so it's fun for that, guys. So let's go ahead and get this all on here. I'll kind of keep an eye over there at the same time. We're just going to feed away here. Listen, this is great for a side, great for a snack. Uh, if, if you've got people over at the house that maybe don't feel like, you know, meat or chocolate or, well, stop inviting them. But <laughs> <laughs> if you want something a little different, I'm going to go flip those steaks. Here we go. Not going to lose those steaks. Not going to happen. We're on that nice hot part of the grill, so let's turn it. Oh, look at that sear. That's, you know what? People go, oh, he burnt it. No, 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 no. That's the kind of sear right there. That's why you do a reverse sear. Here we go. Where are we at? That's that butter and garlic. Look at that. We are just, whoa, that, that went right through. <laughs> Gosh, we're right there, 128. All right, I'm gonna give it 
the touch test, I think we're good. I think we're good. But I do want to make sure that that steak rests. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. There. Come on over here. Have a look. There's another side. Oh, <laughs> love it. All right. So we got some beautiful flavor on that side. We got the nice bar marks right there. We're going to let that rest while we do our thing here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crank this up a bit. Here we go. All right. Now, uh, another accessory I want to show you in a second is just the coolest gosh darn grill brush you've ever seen. Um, so many times with grill brushes, and you've seen this, they're like the, the little uh, like steel uh, little barbs. We've all uh, you know hit our finger on one of those and started bleeding, right? Every one of us has done that. But what's cool about the design on this one, I'll show you in just a second, it's actually stainless steel chain mail over Bakelite. Who uses Bakelite anymore? You, you know how expensive Bakelite is? That stuff's crazy, man. Uh, but th th that's one of the reasons that uh, I was really drawn to this uh, company and their accessories and all the things that they do because the quality of them is out of this world. Hey, look at the color we got on these steaks. Come on over here and check that out. Oh, isn't that nice? There you go. Now, you don't want to put this on right away because you don't want it to burn, but this is a nice little glaze of uh, syrup and red pepper flakes. Listen, take that extra step, man. Go ahead. Go ahead and take that extra step. Everybody, you know, you want to try grilled fruits or kebab fruits. That's fine. But be that, like, seven out of a hundred people that takes that little, uh, you know, syrup pepper flake step. That's the best. I love that. All right. So, uh, oh, side dishes. So here's what I want to do, guys. One of the cool things about getting able to try all of these neat products is sometimes you run across some of them that just... You know what? They solve that problem, man. And one of the problems that we have when we're out grilling, me anyway, is uh, you know the variety of side dishes that we can do. Now, you can use a stainless steel pan out here, but I mean, at the end of the day, you might as well just use uh, like a flat skillet. But if you want to be able to do some, uh, you know, dishes like smaller items and things like that, but still catch that flavor, look at this. Look at that, perforated carbon steel pan. This guy is out of this world, you guys. By the way, all of Grillville stuff, and this one surprised me, comes with a three season guarantee, which to me is actually pretty cool. I love that, three seasons, you don't have to replace this stuff. And listen, I've worked with a lot of grilling products. When this when this showed up at the door, I was like, what the heck's going on here? Because listen, carbon steel, right? A little bit lighter than cast iron, incredible conductor of heat, great to cook on, but it rusts like a bejeebus, okay? <laughs> but what we did is we triple dipped this in the same material that we use to make our non-stick cast iron. Think about that, you guys. A grill pan, perforated, heavy, heavy duty like cast iron, but you can put it in the dishwasher, the whole nine yards, I love it. And what's nice about this compared to like a griddle, if I was to put a cold steak on here, right, it, it cools that griddle down. Let me tell you what wooden fire thinks of your cold steak. That's what it thinks, okay? It doesn't matter when you're working with something like this. So when you've got these perforated holes on here and you can let that grill flavor come through and not have to worry about what's falling in, that's very cool. And when you've got it in something that lasts a few years, that's even cooler. So what's nice about this too, and we're gonna go in tomorrow and play around a bit. If you're going to like a, uh, like a, a public grill, oh man alive, no thanks. Who knows what sort of bird left a deposit over that thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? Let's go ahead and get these on. There we go. Now, by the way, if you are a kebab fan, one of the things you might be noticing is how the handles, check that out, stay on the outside. Ain't that cool. What that means for you is that you don't have to worry about this getting hot, needing a cloth for all that. I, I like that, that's really neat. So let's, uh, let's let that happen. And we'll give this just a little bit of a brush, like a teaser, if you will. There we are, oh yeah. That's nice stuff. So we're gonna keep an eye on that little fire down there. Maybe back it off a little. Uh, the steaks are looking good. How are we doing here? We're looking fine there. So let's go ahead and get our shrimp. Oh, man. How much fun is that? One of the cool things about the, uh, you know, adding your accessories on to your little grilling repertoire, where, you know, whatever it is you love to do, whatever kind of dishes you like, whatever kind of food you love. When you start adding on quality accessories, then all of a sudden you're able to take that burger and dog habit, you know what I mean? And, 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 and really amp things up that you can do out back here. So a lot of the things that maybe you love doing inside, you know, to bring outside to do again. So look at that. No butter, no oil, no fat, no stick, no kidding. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So now 
we got some of these to pop in there just like that now i brought some cherry tomatoes uh for two reasons number one you can make anything look fancy with a cherry tomato and number two uh, i'm gonna add them on at the end guys i'm gonna try that oh here we go so let's go ahead and turn this over now you see that if these were regular kebabs and I went and you know, tried to turn that rod over, you know what would happen. They'd spin in place, they'd break, they'd this, they that. Uh, it happens to everything, whether it's a piece of meat, whether it's uh, 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 the mushrooms, the tomatoes, it makes no difference. So guys, uh, while this is kind of doing its thing, check it out over here. And, and again, you know, uh, this is like one of these shows where it's all of our favorite stuff. It's my, my favorite camera doodad, my favorite smoker that we're giving away, and a lot of my favorite accessories. We just threw them up here so you could see them easy, you guys. That pan is nuts. They've got these uh, incredible grill presses. Uh, I'm going to show you this guy in a second. That's a chain mail scraper. Chain mail. How cool is that? This never wears out. Can you imagine a scraper with a three-season guarantee? That's goofy. And then there's the kebabs, uh, all the colors they come in. Come on over here. There we go. All right. Ain't that nice? Look at that. And that's the cool thing here, you guys. You're starting to get that char on everything, the cauliflower, the broccoli, the shrimp, and that's because, have a look there, all of the fire and flame is able to come up through those perforations. And the cool thing about this compared to a lot of the other mesh pans that I've used, which by the way, would be melted by now <laughs> over that kind of heat. These guys are good for up to 500 degrees. All right, this is going really well. Okay. Now, obviously you're not gonna put a lot of sauces, you know, when you do stuff like this, but you can do uh, like small additions and toss them in. Uh, and again, things that you are not gonna do on a normal grill. So to be able to do this kind of stuff, a little bit of blackening powder here, to be able to do this kind of stuff, like I said, when you're camping, when you're doing your food public grill, and this can work on anything. So whether, you know, you got a Weber, you got a big green egg, you got, you know, this uh, big guy here that we're having fun with. It merely makes no difference. Here we go. Yeah. Now, oh, we're gonna do it again. Do it again. There we go. One legged. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's get these tomatoes in there and we'll let those blister up. That's a really nice side dish. This will be good for when we cut our steaks. So now remember, because this sits over the end, there we go. Mm, this is not hot. When I, oh, 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 here it comes. Here it comes, you guys. That's what I'm looking for. Listen, there's something incredible and magical that happens to fruit when you grill it. No doubt at all. Make sure you do this, you guys. There's a watermelon and pineapple benefits so good from a nice grilling, a nice grill uh, treatment. That's what it is, a grill treatment. <laughs> One more time here. Can we do it? Are we pushing our luck? That is... Oh my goodness. That's really nice. This is doing well, so I think that one's done. So let me go ahead and take this over here. Ready for this one? There we go. That is really pretty. Really, really pretty. So guys, nice quick side dish, but here's what I want you to see. Come on out here in the light. Here, this one, this is what you gotta see. Mesh wire pans, I've bought them before. They stick, they're nasty, you can't clean them. You gotta smack them around. Watch this, you guys. That's real. That's the real deal. You gotta be kidding me with this. That was just over an open wood fire flame did the side in front of you, it's finished and ready to hang up. Listen, you want some cool accessories? Uh, Grillville is absolutely a company to check out. These guys are making good stuff. That is a carbon steel constructed perforated grill pan that you can use up to 500 degrees. That's dishwasher safe and non-stick. <laughs> that's goofy. So now let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Watch this. I don't need cloths because these have silicone handles. Here we go. So let's bring that over. Come on over. We'll do one. And remember, you can push this down. So let's just do it that way. How beautiful is that? So I think tomorrow's challenge will be finding a smaller, smaller plate <laughs> for more food. Okay. <laughs> I got one more over here. There we go. This is nice stuff. Nice stuff. There we go. All right, and then 
let's go ahead and just do this one right across like that. Beautiful. And up here, we'll go ahead and give this guy a little drizzle. That's a beautiful side dish there, you guys. Really, really nice. Uh, you know, summer's coming. You want something that's really going to let things pop and let those flavors explode. That's just such a great way to do it. So there we go. We got our grilled fruit. That's beautiful. We got our veggies. That's beautiful. I have nothing to clean up with that pan. That's Oh, oh, oh before we go. Hey, uh, let me... Where is it? There we go. This is pretty cool. Chain mail. That's really neat. So there's no... Uh, uh, like wire brush barbs to come off and then kind of sit on that grill plate and wait for my food to come by and pick it up. You know, it, it, I used to sell a, uh, uh, like a floor cleaning product and my line was always the same. It was like, if you're breaking glass on the floor, you can either clean it with this or you can clean it with your feet, one of the two. So listen, if you're using a regular wire brush on your grill and those little, those little pricky things come off that you've poked and bled before, you can either clean it up or your burger will clean it up for you. You know what I'm saying, right? So listen, grab a brush that's gonna last year after year after year. It can't wear, it doesn't wear. It's chain mail over Bakelite. It's the best stuff ever. All right, let's cut into the steak, you guys. Here we go. Don't forget, we're giving away that rec tech. Look at this. I can work six grills blindfolded and backwards. I can't find a nail on a piece of wood. There we go, I got it. All right, steak time, here we go. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. Get a nice knife going here. All right, here we go. Remember, we reverse seared this bad boy, picked up all the flavor of that incredible smoker that we're giving away, and then we finished it off over that wood fire grill. And let me tell you something. There it is. Right there. Oh, I love it. Love it. You know what I want to do? Mm -hmm. oh, I can't. I'll do it through sunlight. There we go. Let's just cut into a few more of these. Isn't that perfect? Guys, nice. listen. These steak, these thick steaks can be really tricky when you're trying to do it all with one heat source. All right, but if you do that reverse sear, oh man, look at that. Check this one out too. And because we got those probes in there, everything, look at that. There's that perfect medium, you guys. Well, there is a perfect dinner. I love it. Everything's fast, everything's easy. The kebabs turned out great. That side dish is beautiful. Imagine accessories that you don't have to replace year after year after year. Look at this. We just use that to make a dish. I love it. Guys, my name is Mark Gill. This is Marks and the Grill. Thanks so much for joining us. We will see you soon.